Let's make an XP multiply for Assassin's Creed Valhalla that'll let us give ourselves as much XP as we want. Here's a brief demonstration. What's up guys, J Sharp here with GHS, bringing you more game hacking shenanigans. In this video, I'll show you how to get to any power level you desire instantly, even if you're at the very beginning of a new game. Before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming game mods, hacks, and cheats. Alright, for this to work, you'll need the program Cheating. If you don't have it, I've got another video that shows you exactly how to download it without the unnecessary adware it normally comes with. And the video also walks you through how to set Cheat Engine up. The video is less than 5 minutes long, and you can find the link to that video in the description below. Also, I did this with the Epic Game version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, specifically with game versions 1.0.2 and 1.0.4. At some point, there may be an update that no longer works with what I show you in this video. So, if you have a newer game version, after you watch the rest of the video, be sure to check out the video description to find out if you need to do anything differently to get things working for your game version. Alright, if you're ready, let's get into this. First, open Cheat Engine and launch the game. Now, I recommend you switch the game to windowed mode and resize it so you can see Cheat Engine and the game at the same time while you're doing this. Don't worry, you can always put it back to full screen when you're done. Pick a game save to load and wait until the map fully generates and you can move around. And before we continue, I recommend creating a copy of the save you want to mod so you don't lose any progress just in case something goes wrong. Next, come over to Cheat Engine and click this little computer icon to open a list of processes currently running on your computer. Then double click Assassin's Creed Valhalla and at the top of Cheat Engine make sure you see Assassin's Creed Valhalla listed there. Then come down here and click this button called Memory View. This loads the Memory Viewer which shows the game's code and I know it can look intimidating if you haven't seen this before, but the only thing you need to do with this is head to the top and click Tools then head down and click Auto Assemble. And let's head over here to the Auto Assemble window and click Template, Cheat Table Framework Code. Then click template again, but this time come down and choose code injection. And in this little dialog box, change whatever's in here for you to acvalhalla.exe in double quotes plus 28F3916. Make sure you don't put any spaces anywhere and that the F is capitalized. Now for this to work, you gotta type this exactly as you see it. So pause the video here if you need to and then proceed when you're ready. All right, now click OK and over here in the auto assemble window, you should now see all kinds of stuff loaded in. And again, don't freak out, you can ignore just about everything here too, but come down to original code and click just behind the colon here, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Then type MOV space EDX comma and then the number symbol or hashtag which is usually shared with the number 3 on the keyboard, and now just type in a number. Whatever number you type in will be the new amount of XP you'll gain anytime you get XP in the game. Just be sure not to give yourself too much XP or you'll crash the game. I'll explain this more in a minute. For now, I'll type in a thousand. And before we continue, just double check and make sure you have only one space between MOV and EDX, the hashtag before the number you type, and no commas in the number. Then just come up here and click File and then assign the current cheat table. Now you can close this window by clicking the X to the right and back in the Cheat Engine main window. I'll rename the script by double clicking the text here and typing a new name for it. And now to turn the XP multiplier on, just click inside the square. Now we just gotta go into the game and get XP. And take a look. To make a change to the XP multiplier, just go back to Cheat Engine and double click this text that says script. Then in the script, just change the number to something else, and then head to the bottom and click OK. But before that change actually takes effect in the game, we need to first refresh the script. To do that, just click inside the square to deactivate it, and then click inside it again to reactivate it. And back in the game, I'll find another crow to shoot real quick. And there you go, 5,000 XP this time. Okay, let's head back to the script and I'll show you the max XP you should give yourself to avoid crashing the game. The biggest number I've had success with is right around 10 million. But when you do this, there's a small issue that may annoy some of you. The max power you can get to is 400 but I have way more skill points than that, which I won't be able to use. And after assigning skill points to the entire skill tree, you'll see that I'm stuck with extra skill points I can't spend. And when I exit the pause menu, those leftover skill points I can't spend are forever displayed up here. 
So to max out your power and skills, but not have any leftover skill points, you'll need to figure out how much XP you need to get to 400 power from whatever your current power is. To make this easier, first make sure you've spent all your skill points, then just pull up a calculator and take 400 minus your current power, which for me is 191 in this particular save. And then multiply that number by 2500. The result gives you roughly how much XP you need to get pretty close to 400 power. So I'll type this number into the script and then head back to the game and take out this guy. All right, now auto assign the points and let's see how close I am. I'd say that's pretty damn close. So back in the script, I'll change the number to 2000. And back in the game, I'll take out another guy. And there's the last skill point I need. Okay, to max out the mastery points that get unlocked when you get to 400 power, change the number in the multiplier script to 450,000. And back in the game, get some more XP. And there you go, 90 mastery points, which will let you max out all three masteries. All right guys, two more quick things for you. If you increase your power dramatically, like I just did, you'll be stuck seeing these skill notifications for quite a while. But if you save your game, then reload it, no more notifications. And of course, all your skills and masteries are still there. And once you have all the XP you want, you don't need to keep Cheat Engine open. But if you think you might want to do this again with a future game save, before you close Cheat Engine, come to the top, then click File and then Save and then click save again. Now, anytime in the future you can open Cheat Engine, click the folder icon and load up the XP script. Again though, this game is still pretty new and a future game update may no longer work with the script. So if you ever click inside the square to activate the script and the red X just doesn't appear, first make sure that you have Cheat Engine attached to the game. And if it's still not working, come back to this video and check the video description for more information on what you might need to do to get this working again. And you can also feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more hacking shenanigans, check out the videos on the screen and subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.